Sport was a great forum to be yourself. But off the pitch, I think I was kind of trying to figure out who I was. When you're kind of carrying around a secret, it isn't easy and it does affect you and it definitely affected me. Kind of ate me up a little bit. When I was younger, I didn't really see myself any differently. I just loved playing sport. I would have been in the school team when I was about 11 or 12, and there was nowhere for us to go after primary school. And my mom realised there was a need for having a ladies' club when myself and about four others formed the club, and we had a lot of success. I got involved with Cork football when I was 13. I'd always ambitions of being a Cork footballer. I think the fact that my parents would have brought me to all the matches and had that desire from a young age. I started playing senior football when I was about 17 and it was actually here. It was lovely to be putting on the Cork jersey and a great sense of pride. I think it was about 17 when I started to kind of figure things out a bit. Some people think, you know, it might be easy to understand who you are, but yeah, it took a little bit of time. And there wasn't that many out people around or role models, so it wasn't as visible then as it is now kind of carrying around a secret, it isn't easy, and definitely affected one performance all right in All-Ireland in 2006. Probably the only match I never scored in, and I was kind of more consumed by what people would think, or that my name would be synonymous with being gay, and I didn't want the headlines, didn't want the attention. You know, I just wanted to be known as the footballer who, you know, played well. I think when you're younger, you try to be the same and to fit in. But then as you get older, you realise that it's better to embrace those differences because that's what makes you stand out and be who you are. So it took a bit of time to try and accept that. And, you know, it was a big weight off my shoulders when I finally told people. Coming out to my family, it was probably the biggest worry you'd have that you wouldn't be accepted or you'd be disowned. But my parents and family have been very supportive. Then I took the opportunity to be involved in the Coming Out of the Curve documentary about what it is like to be gay in Ireland. That actually went really well because it was very well received and it was for the marriage equality referendum, so it really helped that case. It was huge that we get the equal rights and that people have the same opportunities as their straight brothers and sisters, so it was nice to be involved in that and to speak about my experience. And when I was younger, I lacked that person that I could look up to and see that everything was going to be fine, so if people look up to me and see that it'll all be okay, I think that's a nice thing to be able to do. Winning 10 has been amazing and something that no one can ever take away from us, all those experiences and I'm very proud and humbled to be part of such a great historic Cork team. Year on year everyone was out to get us and we did have to up it and it was a good challenge to try and keep ahead of the pack and in 2015 to get the second five in a row was significant and I just felt it was the right time then to leave it. I wanted to go out on top, I think I did. Where I'm from means an awful lot to me and being a Cork woman I'm very proud and humbled to be part of such a great historic Cork team that have achieved an awful lot and changed history and I think we've created a kind of a culture and that that hasn't stopped.